Hi, my name is Mike Lidata G, and today we have a video, and this is a video that is going to help put our head back in place. So the name of this video is How to Be in an Environment Where Our Head is Brought Back Down to the Body. Okay, let me clear this up. This is before MGTOW, and this is maybe Red Pill and MGTOW. Somewhere between here and here, you're probably falling somewhere between here and here. I don't have no idea if how far this can actually work when the head is ejected because you know there's there's always going to be a certain point where we can't pull it back down. So we're going to create the environment for our bodies to be safe and connect to it. Now there's a reason why I'm saying environment because you when, when you get to the manosphere type guys or when you get to guys with a lot of will you know they tell you all kinds of things like pull up your bootstraps and you know, be a man, be a man. Well, that's coming from one of these guys. This is not a man. This is a head. Okay? There are, uh, they have one third to one half the truth. So this is a half truth. The feminists have similarly one, half, one third to one half the truth. So whatever this guy is going to say, it's in light of they're already discharged from the body. So they're going to share with you the spirit they have, the truth they have being disembodied. The guy that tells me, again, you know, pull up your bootstraps. I'm like, yeah, can you show me how you do that? As they go to show me, I push him down. I take a fly swatter. I, or better yet, I'll take a rolled up newspaper like you do to a dog and I'll be hitting them on the head and I'll say, pull up your bootstraps. And then when they finally get the bootstraps in their hands, I'll cut those bootstraps and push their head further down into the ground. You see, because that person is talking from, they're thinking that they're standing on their legs, but they're not. They're standing on their genitalia. They're using that to stand on. And you can't stand on that. You topple over. And there are other aspects in their life. Their life might be more rigidity where, you know, they, they, they're they still part of the disconnect. The point is your body has to be a safe place and the head will naturally come down. So how do we get the body in a safe place? Well, first we have to understand what didn't happen. What's the thing that didn't happen is that when you were a year and a half to three years old, you were not able to exercise your no. That is the number one thing that did not happen. Number one thing. And your mobility uh, most likely was also altered. You know, the, the mother didn't let you run or whatever. So let's start with the no. Because the no's are in the body. So now, the first problem with the no being in the body is that all the relationships, the dynamics you have in work, everything is in light of you're not saying you're no. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So what you're doing is you're saying yes when you mean no. It knows what you should say out of your mouth but you're saying yes. So that no now goes into your body. And that no, when you're filled up with these no, you're saying no to life. Okay. So we got to get these out. I have another video on, on uh, where did my no go. That's also going to help. But this is more for the masculine part of it. Uh, you know, we're going to just focus on the masculine. <clears throat> One of the, the reasons why we, you say yes so fast is that the decision-making process in your head is submerged. So you most likely answer quickly. That's what you're doing presently. You answer quickly. 
by answering quickly, you're not giving, um, you're not thinking about it. But it, it's in a way kind of, when you have your head, you're making a decision. But when you don't have the head, you might feel like uncomfortable that someone might see you. But this is not conscious now. So you answer quickly to get that decision-making process done quicker. And that's not right. You can't do that. In fact, what, what you need to do is slow down. So number one is slow down. So anytime you have to answer, inhale, and then exhale. Okay? Inhale, exhale, and then give an answer. When you're inhaling and exhaling, at that moment, and be really mindful of this, you're bringing air into the body, and it, it and the exhale, you know, the spirit's going to get involved with your answer. The as this starts to work, something really weird starts happening, and this is really good, is you're going to start to say things that you did not intend to say. When that happens, that's very good, because that's now the spirit talking. You, you, you know, my English, even uh, my grammar, uh, you, you hear me taking pauses sometimes. Well, these pauses are for me to breathe in and breathe out and wait for the spirit to give me the rest of the answer. Sometimes I'm going in one direction and then turn a bit to the right because the spirit is making me do this. Now, this is the connection you get. You're going to have to get with yourself. That is going to help force the head up. In this case, it's going to bring the head down. Because remember, this is a boiling pot. Right now, this is a boiling pot. And if you still got some water in there, then maybe we can bring it back down from a boiling pot to a simmer and then ultimately to this um, common head is on top of your body. The body is shaped by energy. That's why women who are ex leaving the body, they have a long neck. Men have no neck. They lose the neck. So if, you're, if you look in the mirror and you say, oh my goodness, I don't have a neck, you know, that's a physical representation of what's going on inside the body. No neck. And you might have an expanded muscle too. And that's because, remember, the head needs it to expanse. But if you take the head and you put it in the body, the body will expanse. You might even have high blood pressure. Usually, the, one of the signs of this is high blood pressure. You know, of being in the head pushed into the body. That's another thing. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is slow down. And you would think it would be just the opposite, right? Because you want to you know, work on your head. You slow down. Inhale. Exhale. Okay? That's the first thing. Slow down. Inhale. Exhale. Then answer. Y you got to really be mindful of this. The more mindful you are of this, it's actually, it's actually connecting more to your uh, torso to say, yeah, I'm going to wait and have you help me make this answer. It... it it might sound a little weird right now, but once you use it, it's going to work. This is no ands, no ifs, no buts. This is 100% will work. Second, when you have an opportunity, you don't have to do this every day. You don't have to do this um, all the time, but start drawing. First thing you draw is all the no's that you never said put it on a piece of paper now I've done this before uh, excuse me I've done this myself and after I've done this it's on my refrigerator 
So I am always conscious of this. This has nose in every color, shape, orientation, everywhere. These are the nose that you not you had not set. These are the nose that establish the boundary of the head between a year, a uh, year and a half, and three years old. This is what creates the boundary of the head. Because remember, when you're a year and a half to three years of age, that's when the head sets up its, uh, this is my space. And when you're a child at that age, you're fighting with the mother because the mother, the mother's will is clashing with your will. Okay, and, and she suppressed your will, and by suppressing the will, she took your no away. I think we're going to do one on the video on, on the mothers as well. So, year and a half to three, you didn't say you know, you have to get that no out. Now, you actually, the MGTOW movement, now look, look, look how powerful this is when you understand this. The MGTOW movement now, when the head gets ejected, it has one no only, and that no is to women. Isn't that interesting, right? The no that is the ejected head from the MGTOW, or the MGTOW man, or half man as I'm telling you, does say no and only says no to women. Isn't that crazy? All their videos are based on saying no to women. They're not talking about the no that they didn't say before. Because this doesn't actually, the no is not only to women. The no is going to affect every aspect of your life. Now, when you are, again, saying yes, when you should say no, this right here is an environment for lying. Okay, this is a lie, and then you put it in your body, you swallow the lie. So, we have to make the highest standard truth. It's funny, I just uh, this morning I think there was Jordan Peterson was on Tucker Carlson, and you know, you could probably see it today, and it talks about this very thing about truth. Truth has to be our number one. We have to strive for truth. We have to protect the truth. We have to follow the truth. Now, when you say yes, when you mean no, you are definitely not telling the truth. So, as we start telling the truth and being in the truth, again, it's going to provide an environment where the launched head will go back to the body. Okay, so we need to create that environment. So, as we tell the truth, we're going to be... Uh, exiting those uh, no's. They're going to start leaving our body. And what do I mean by the truth? Well, in work, in your everyday, everyday life, you're put in positions where you said yes when you need to say no. You're invited someplace to go someplace and you don't want to go. Inhale, exhale. What's the truth? Do I really want to go there? Say no. Answer slowly. Do I really want to go there? No. And say no. There's nothing better than saying no. Because the no now is going to strengthen your identity. The people that you're going to say no to in the beginning are going to be um, acting weird with you. Because you've never said no before. In fact, they're friends with you, their relations with you, only because you don't tell them no. So you're creating, by not telling people no when they need to get a no, you're creating narcissists. That's the point. You're making a narcissist somewhere. Behind every narcissist or inflated ego person, there is somebody who is telling this person yes. So wherever, wherever you are in your relationship with these narcissists, you're going to lose this as a friend. They're not friends. You're 
you're propping them up to make them a friend. They're not really seeing you who you are and you're creating a false reality. So one of the things that, that this energy does is it creates a false reality. We have to be in the truth reality. First thing you do, slow down, inhale, exhale, then answer. Second thing you do is no when no is necessary. Now, not this is not all going to happen overnight. This is, might take a while, but you're going to start seeing this pretty quick. Draw as much as you can. Draw not 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 just drawing the no, but draw, draw, draw. Because every time you draw, every time you draw a picture, you know whatever the picture is, you know whatever, the sun. What I don't care what you draw. Draw stick figures. You see me draw every single day now with these videos. And the more I'm drawing, the more that's coming to me in these videos. It's more. Right, like right this minute, I can make 10 videos today, which I'm writing notes all over the place. There's over a thousand videos. Because the more you draw, the more that you uh, connect with your body, and you connect with your body when you draw, when you write, write script. Now, why is that? When you are writing, if I'm writing this word, this is four pictures. Every time you draw something, even a word, it's a picture. This picture is a combination. It's your hand that's connected to your torso, connected to your head. When you're pressing a key on a computer, you don't know if it's I or P or T. Your feminine body doesn't know. So in a sense, you're not even teaching your feminine body. You're just separating from your feminine body. And this is going to be very evident now in the computer age. Nobody's writing anymore. Now, why script? Because every word, every letter is a picture. And when you do script, you're joining the words or joining the letters. It's like glue. And by joining the letters, it's like joining the body. I know this doesn't seem like they're together, but I'll tell you how many people are disconnected right now. With the computers, technology, it is separating people from their bodies. The new te generation doesn't use script at all. They can't write at all. They, they, they don't know how to write script. They have no idea. So writing will also help. Drawing will help. Um, like, like make plans. Okay, here's another thing to do with the drawing. Like, you have things happening in your family, relationships. Okay, so draw the problem. If you have a problem with the mother, with the father, with, with, with the ex, draw everybody in the problem and then put emphasis on where do you think the energy is. So let's say you're dealing with someone that you work with. So they got a big head. All right, let's draw their big head. They got no neck. Okay, so they got no neck and a small body, and this is what they look like. So draw them. Because by drawing them, it's, it's again connecting with your spirit. All this will bring the head back down. Okay? This will bring the head back down. So let me start my list again. All right, so uh, you know what? Let's make a list. Slow down. We'll come back to the list. Slow down. Inhale. Exhale. And then answer. Okay? Next. Say no when no is necessary. And there are going to be consequences for this. You, you might have uh, problems at work. And truth above all. Because remember, we're in a healing process here. Above all. Draw. No. Draw pictures of whatever. 
of whatever. And this one's very important. Again, draw personal interactions. And also draw your day. Maybe in the beginning of the day or the end of the day to reflect on it. There's a lot of emphasis on the drawing because if you watched any of my videos on, on drawing interpretations, uh, have a lot of drawings. Let me just go pull them out. I should have just kept it here. Just one second. Be right back. So what I've done when had made this discovery many years ago, I think I'm, I don't know, up to 10 years now with this, I would meet people Oh, I would meet people and I'd have them draw pictures. This guy was had a very important business, big business, insurance business. So he drew two guys holding a breast. And then when he told me that, his wife came in and she drew the two flowers to try and clean it up. While he was telling me this story, and you know, I didn't know what the hell this went to. Uh, with it, I you know what what what, what am I going to get from this? A guy, two guys holding a breast. Then he told me a story how he put um, play doh, and he made something out of play doh, and he put it on a radiator so he could show his father. So obviously the radiator was on, and you know where that play doh went, right? On the sides of the uh, radiator. So when he did something creative and he showed it to his opposite sex parent, what ended up happening? The parent yelled at him and stifled his creativity and now the guy is in his late 50s 60 years old telling me the story i turned to the wife i said did he tell you this story and she goes yes i go what are you going to do tomorrow buy play-doh so these pictures and drawings at any age it doesn't matter there these are all people that uh, i met look this person has Beautiful thing here. What'd they draw? They drew a body and a head. What's in the head? Jewelry. She's got money on her mind. But she has a lot going on in the body. Simple picture. This is covered in one of my videos too. This woman was a very big enabler. To the point that she put herself in violent situations. This guy drew this. He has his thoughts upside down. This woman drew this. So you have like the water, you have the land, and she tells me those are palm trees. She said they're palm trees. And you know what this is? This is her being swallowed up and under the ground. And if you look at the image, it looks like the ground is starting to swallow her up. All images are going to tell you a spiritual truth. So when you do draw two, use colored pencils. Use colored pencils. This is going to make a big difference. Colored pencils. So, you know, you know, draw with colored pencils. With colored pencils. All right. C O L whatever colored pencils. Okay, so you draw with colored pencils. Last thing um, or maybe not last thing, but something else to talk about is exercise. Okay exercise now a lot of guys they want to redo their life so what do they do they go lift weights well if you're a boiling pot body like this and your head is here or your head is here or your head is launched by lifting weights all you're doing is creating more armoring it's called more armoring or armoring. You're putting more armor on your body that you can suffer more pain. More pain. And we do not want to suffer no pain. So we don't want more pain. So what do you do? Bicycle. Swim. More like float. And walk. Bicycle, swim, and walk. And walk mindful of breathing 
mindful of breathing. So you you inhale, exhale, take deep breaths. You're putting greater emphasis and focusing on the air coming into your body and coming out of your body. And this will all help to bring the head back down if it's not too far gone. I mean, there's going to be heads that are gone, and, and it's gone. But that guy's not watching this video. That guy's not watching this video. Now that guy's going to leave me the miserable comments on the video. Because they want to solidify their head in the atmosphere. They want to keep it there. So there's so much pain in their body that they want to keep the head in the stratosphere. So best way to do that now is to create bad behavior, more dark energy. So not only is the head launched, but they're adding more dark energy and that dark energy kind of expands exponentially. So you, you, you're fighting with me to keep your head lofty and away from the pain. You got to get back down to your body. As you get back down to your body, I don't have too much time now, but as you get back down to your body, your relationships will have new relationships and you will be more visible to people around you. You will become more visible to people around you. So you have the list. Slow down. Inhale, exhale. Say no when no is necessary. Truth above all. Draw no. Draw pictures of whatever. Draw personal interactions. Draw your day. Draw with colored pencils. Exercise. Swim. Bicycle. Walk. And do not do this inside a gym. Because you need mobility. You have to move around. No gym. Because the gym has you locked up in a box. And we don't want to be in a box. We want to have motion. We want the eyes to have expanse. Your expanse was stopped with the opposite sex parent. Now this video is probably going to end pretty soon. Because I'm already at the 27 minute mark. But slow down. You don't have to give a fast answer. And no, you have to work on telling people no. You will lose friends or people that you think are friends, but they are only there because you enabled the relationship. You might have issues at work, but that's okay. Because as you come to the truth, don't you have to have faith in the truth. Because the truth, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And that's what God said, or G that's what Jesus said to those Pharisees that, uh, that, that uh, they were MGTOW. They wanted to stone that woman who was caught in adultery. He said to them, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They picked up stones to stone Jesus too. And this is like the Pharisees mirror the MGTOW today. You know, keeping the law. And a lot of the MGTOW guys want to tell you the law. Don't do this with them. No. Say no to women. Say no to women. Now. That's the only no you know is to say to women? How about saying no when you need to say no throughout your life? And that will put your life in better. Uh, it will help put your life back together. And you'll see the options will totally change. You'll, it, it's going to be so uplifting. This is a guarantee. There's no ands, no ifs, no buts. This will work. I have another video on this. Where did my no go? All my older videos, everything is interlaced with each other. It's the same understanding. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. God bless.